Hi everyone, welcome to A Godly Home. Today's video is part of 5 Minutes or $5 Collaboration and anybody can take part of this collaboration whether you have a channel or if you don't have a channel just go ahead and email a picture of what you made and a description or a recipe to either Nessa's Nook or I and we will include you in the collaboration this is open to anybody. So my friend Maria submitted her meal and she doesn't have a channel but here is her meal and I decided I would make the same meal yesterday for our big meal before my guys went to work so I'm able to give you a review and all of the ins and outs about it. Now this one could either be five minutes or five dollars depending on how you decide to make it. And thank you so much Maria for sharing this recipe with us. So Maria made this nice kielbasa hash for her meal and I think hers looks like it turned out better than mine. She followed the recipe exactly. And here is the recipe. Okay, here I am making my version of it. And I've got the timer set to see if I can prep this in five minutes. Because this one, if it's going to be five minutes, it's a five minute prep. And then it still has to cook, which is great. Hands off. I decided I was going to do mine on a cookie sheet so that I could pop it in the oven after the five minutes prep and be completely on my way and not be worrying about it. So I set my oven to 425 degrees and I doubled the amount of potatoes because I have two hungry men here. And it took about an hour in the oven with doubling the potatoes. So I would check it in about 20 to 30 minutes if you're not doubling the potatoes. So with doubling the potatoes and peeling them, I was a few minutes over the five minutes. But the recipe did not call for peeling the potatoes. So if you just dice your potatoes up and pop them in there, you can easily be at the five minute point on prep and be done with it. Now, if you don't want to even bother with dicing potatoes, then you can buy those frozen potatoes in your french fry section that are, they call them hash brown potatoes, they're pre-diced. And you could just use those if you need to go real super fast. Um, there's so many ways to do these different meals and, you know, that would help you a lot. And so basically the meal is going to be $5 very easily if you stick to the original recipe and you use regular potatoes from a bag of potatoes and an onion from your bag of onions along with the five minute prep. But if you choose to use the hash brown diced frozen potatoes, that's going to bring your cost up a little bit because when I checked on Walmart website, it looked like they were about $3.50 for a bag of those. So that will be your choice if you want five minutes or $5. And then additionally, if you want to add anything to the meal, you could add a can of store brand vegetables and still be at the $5, but you'll see what I added at the end of this video definitely would have put me over five dollars but like I say it easily was a five minute prep. I lost some footage on this one but I drizzled it with a little bit of vegetable oil and I added all the spices in the recipe and then once again I chose to pop mine into a 425 degree oven and mine was a big pan and it took about an hour. Um, this turned out absolutely delicious. I loved it. My husband liked it. My son enjoyed it. 
he brought it in his lunch as a leftover on a tortilla wrap with a little bit of honey mustard and some cheese. This is what it looks like when it come out. And we had blueberries and cheese toast with it. Having blueberries and cheese toast definitely would have raised it up just a little bit in cost. But I didn't mind. It was a fast five minute meal and we really enjoyed it. Thanks again, Maria. And I will have the link to the playlist in the description box for this collaboration. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.